say my name. Actually, it's Kirchma. It's really hard to pronounce. It's Czech. It means a pub or a tavern. Um, but don't worry about that. Today, we have a bathroom to remodel. A bad bathroom. So, let's break it. Okay, so my bathroom is really gross, and I'll show you what I mean. Oh, oh the door's closed. I am the one who knocks. Okay, no one's here. Let's go. I recommend the stuff from A1A Car Wash. You've tried the rest, now try the best. Okay, so there's lots of things that I don't like about this bathroom. The main thing is this tub is so tall that it's hard to get into. Why did they do it like this? Let me show you. So they used a sink P-trap rather than a regular tub P-trap, which is a lot shorter. So they put it on bricks and wood and then lifted everything up. So let's put in the right stuff and lower this sucker. Okay, now the real test to see if this works. Let's give it a go. So I got this new shower curtain from a company called Gray Matter Technologies. Uh, they say it's embedded with AI, whatever that means. Uh, it's supposed to give a more human feel to the shower experience. Not really sure, but let's give it a chance. Huh, so this is weird. The instructions actually say that it comes with this bike lock and these pair of eyes. I don't know what that's about, but it also has a shirt that I'm supposed to wear um, after you install. So anyway, we'll just put this on and I'll show you what I'm going to use for the tiles and where I'm going to get them. So these tiles were actually found in the shed back here that I didn't even know about. It was so overrun with weeds and everything, but we cleaned it all up and we found the exact same tiles that they used in the bathroom before. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a little bit of a cough. Um, so let's use these 
and retile the bath that we're gonna <coughs> that we're gonna use. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, and let's remember to always wear safety goggles or glasses whenever we do any tile installation. Okay, let's do it. <coughs> bring you a new tile. I have the key, but I'm gonna need you to turn around. Before I set you free, are you gonna stab me with that piece of tile? <laughs> And this is why we always wear safety goggles.
not only is everything uneven in London, but I also want to point out the moths. It is time to spray. You know the sad thing about all that handiwork that we did is it's going to be covered up with this wood. Oh well. Now let's give a thumbs up and a round of applause to a bathroom well done. I am going to celebrate using some of this Zafrio Anijo. Um, it's sent over by my friend Gus, really good stuff. And he says just shoot it straight down, so that's what we'll do. Um, cheers to making a bathroom right. You know what? I think we should actually do two. Um, and I like to add a little bit of sweetener in mine. Uh, I found this stuff called Stevia. Um, it's pretty good, so I hear. Um, so let's give this a shot and see what happens. To guts, wherever you are. 
Okay, now that we have the bath done, <coughs> excuse me, seems my cop is back. Um, we are gonna have to put in a splash guard and Wait, there's no leaks? The drain works perfectly? You know what this means? I won. But it does kind of smell a bit, so let's light a match and just kind of get rid of the scent. All right, now I have the X-Carb all hooked up but I first put on a new door, but that's not a door video. I have plenty of those in my earlier ones. Let's check how this looks. So we've got the whole x carve set up right here and everything's plugged in. We even have uh, the vacuum hoover um, hooked up down below here. And yeah, oh, looks like there's a note here as well. Hogwarts school song to my other favorite JK. It's an honor making with you, fondly GB. I'm not really sure what this means, but whatever. Um, yeah, now let's carve. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, now that we have everything installed and finally done, when we put over the curtain, there needs to be the splash guard here. So what I did is created a small little template out of cardboard, match it up to this, and then I'm gonna just draw kind of like a, a, a shape that I like around what we're gonna make. Something like that. Around rough estimates. Okay, let's carve. And that's what happens when you break a bit with one minute left. Oh well, here we go again. Chicken's done. Now what I like to do is put the already cooked pieces inside of a bag or a box. And I found that the best box is this Los Pollos Hermanos. Now, I don't know what they're using, but it is some really good stuff. So we just stack them in here and boom, they're ready to ship. Bon appetit. And now, if I did everything correctly, this should line up perfectly. Oh, I'm too good. The caulking that I'm using is this Gorilla Glue um, silicone paintable stuff that I got at WorkbenchCon. It's awesome, really strong stuff, highly recommend it. And now with some red throw rugs put right into place, I can finally call that this project is complete. The digitizer? No, anything but the digitizer.